the action that people are taking is to communicate with some of the most powerful institutions in our world to say, we don't support you doing business with extremists. Um, this, this particular movement that I'm involved in is not a partisan one. It's not about democratic versus Republican values. It's not about progressive versus conservative. We actually have a fair number of registered Republicans participating in Grab Your Wallet, many of whom are LDS Mormons, which I find really interesting. For them, participation is a, an expression of their basic humanitarian values. And the ask and the action is to say to corporations, to media outlets like Fox and Breitbart, um, you can't rely on my consumer dollar if you are going to also do business with extremists, if you are mm -hmm. also going to be publishing this extremist rhetoric that then foments racism and misogyny and xenophobia in our society. You can't, you can't count on me, a woman, as your core customer base if Nordstrom, for instance, you have an all-male senior executive team, which they have. Um, and I think it's more about... Um, that than it is about uh, identifying as a consumer.